Pro Indy Grand Prix of Sonoma, which we will host next weekend. Um, although with the number of cars out there, it sort of feels like a race weekend right now, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but as most of you are probably aware, um, this is the first time all of these drivers are testing a modified track layout out on the track. Um, we've made some modifications up at turn seven, as well as uh, white and turn nine a bit, and obviously pretty dramatically changed uh, turn 11, all in the hopes of, uh, of increasing some passing out, on there, out there on track. So when combined with a new car and a new engine and all sorts of new things, um, all these drivers are, uh, are seeing some, some new things in Sonoma here that we've seen over the last uh, seven or eight years of racing. So we'll ask them some questions. We do have some media members here. If we have time, we may take a, a fan question or two, but obviously these guys need to get back out on track. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, closest to me here is Charlie Kimball, who races for uh, Novo Nordisk Chip Ganassi Racing. Next to him are three familiar faces from Team Penske. Elio Castroneves, Will Power, and Ryan Briscoe. Thanks for joining us, gentlemen. And the question of the day for all of you is obviously, how's the track? How's the new track? And, and how is your time on track today helping prepare you for next weekend? Ryan, we'll uh, start with you and work our way down. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, I think uh, certainly, you know, uh, seven now, instead of being a double apex, um, very technical corner now, it's a pretty simple hairpin, but I think that's gonna be good for racing. Um, it's really wide up there too, so it's going to be a, a great place for passing. Um, it's really tricky on the exit, the traction's terrible for whatever reason, but um, it's good. Um, nine is uh, is a whole new second part of the corner there. It's um, very smooth and they've done a nice job paving that, so um, it's good. You know, I think we might just talk about 11. Um, we're all sort of running over one of the bollards on the exit so you know maybe there'll be some small modifications but um, all in all I think the changes are good. Um, lap times are a little bit slower, the track distance is a bit longer but um, it's good I can't wait to come back and race it. Excellent. I should say before Will and Elio that we did work quite a bit with the drivers as well as the IndyCar series on making these changes. Will, I know you've been involved throughout the year or so, and Elio, I think you were actually out there last night helping with uh, with Turn 11. So thanks for your input, and maybe you can talk about what you've seen out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure, Turn 7 is going to be uh, better passing. You know, and just the fact that it's a deeper, it's, it's harder braking, and you've got a much wider uh, entry. So uh, I think that was a good change. I think turn nine, all of, it's about the same corner it was, it's a bit faster. Maybe it'll help get an exit so you can get around on someone to 11. Uh, but like Ryan said, the exit curves on 11, I think they're gonna take them out over lunch. Um, so yeah, all in all, good changes. I think this new car is uh, really quick around here. It's, um, my, neck, my neck's real sore. <laughs> but. Uh, um, yeah, I think I think it'll be good racing everywhere we go. Uh, where we expect there'll be no passing, uh, we've been a lot. So you know, I think it'll be a good race here, and um, you know, it's generally a three-stop race, so that mixes strategies up a bit. Um, so I think fans are in for a treat. Your and I should mention also the race length has been extended uh, from 75 to 85 laps for the race. Now, um, listen, yesterday was great. Uh, I have to uh, give a, a big credit for the, the track workers as well because uh, yesterday, myself and Ryan Monterey, uh, we were there, uh, you know. Uh, Kind of like playing around and uh, with a rental car, I imagine. So um, it was kind of like interesting, uh, trying to make the corner of the hairpin the way you would feel that uh, would suit everyone. But as you guys know, race car drivers are very difficult to everyone to agree. And um, right now, I thought um, for the initial and the first part, uh, without knowing much and not having uh, you know all practice, I thought uh, it came out really good. So big, big credit for the guys to. Uh, you know, make it happen. So for me, this is just a show that uh, it can be done when you ask for it. If there is uh, uh, people that wants to make it happen, it can happen. So um, other than that, I felt the track is um, it, it's great. I thought the changes are seem to be uh, it's going to create some passing for sure. But again, guys, gotta remember it's uh, it, it's tough uh, when the tire is going to go away a little bit here, and that's where. I think it's going to be very interesting, so I think it's going to be uh, quite uh, quite exciting. So hopefully, um, uh, whatever they're going to change, um, 
uh, right now the basic technique is through, is still pretty good, and um, we just need the like small details, break markers, uh, you know, things like that, so that we can, uh, well, uh, at this point, yeah, that's okay. Hey, you are professional, <laughs> and um, but again, yeah. But hopefully, uh, you know, those things. Uh, I have to say, good job for the entire race track right here and the organization because uh, you know, it's the first time we see somebody make it happen. So, thank you. We've also welcomed Graham Rahal for the uh, Service Central Chip Ganassi Racing. Graham, your thoughts on the new car, new track, all of it. Yeah, I think the uh, the track is uh, is certainly a lot better. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'd imagine everybody's feeling the same right now. I felt like the chicane was a lot better. Um, the the hairpin is going to be better for braking. The way it was before was pretty tricky, but I think uh, it's still power down off the hairpin. At least for us, it's quite a challenge. So that could give me an opportunity going down into nine. But um, you know this. This whole deal is much better. You know, letting us extend it a little bit uh, before it was. You know, whether the turn was just too close. You know, you couldn't build any momentum. I think it's still going to be. You know, it'll be difficult to pass there, but that's just simply because of the. You know, the way the whole configuration is back here. It's not just just there, but I think the uh, the track did a phenomenal job making an adjustment. And uh, as Elio said, you know, one of our biggest challenges as drivers sometimes is to get when we have opinions and we voice them to get things changed and um, so it means a lot to us to uh, to see that and uh, you know it's uh, the new car is great here um, felt like my car was better at the first test we did here than it is today but hopefully we'll figure that out um, but it's <laughs> he, he likes that he doesn't want us to be able to get <laughs> but uh, yeah it's uh, it's gonna be fun you know and uh, I always love coming here. It's such a beautiful place, and uh, you know, thank you guys all for coming out today. So hopefully, tell all your friends, make everybody come out next week, and that's the important time. Woo! Woo Excellent. Charlie, your thoughts? Well, I think as, as these four guys have all said, it is definitely an improvement. Uh, it, it's when we get it all marked out with brake markers and paint lines and everything. I think at eleven, it'll be a little bit better even uh, still. So, but passing opportunities will be more. Um, you know, the new car, the DW12 has proven all year that it races really well. Um, we put on some great shows from the ovals to the permanent road courses and even the temporary street circuit. So um, I'm looking forward to coming back next weekend and racing here. I think it's going uh, to be a lot of fun. The adjustments have all been you know, really good and it's nice to see, as Elio said, nice to see changes made. And, uh, everybody working together to, to put on a better show for you guys, which is what we're here for. And I see you're racing with an injury. I know you missed the last race. How's, uh, how's your hand feeling? Okay. Uh, it's still broken. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The, the doctor said it was okay for me to get in the car. Um, it, it took a little bit of convincing, um, but it feels pretty good, actually. Um, I, I wear a different brace when I'm driving, and um, all morning, you know, it, it's it's fine. I haven't even haven't needed to ice it between runs or anything like that, so I'm uh, pretty confident that even with another week, because it's just over two weeks at surgery, so uh, another week uh, for the race next week, and I'll be be back at it, ready to go, uh, 100%. Good news. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up for uh, media questions. Jeannie, in front. Um, all of you, what's the best thing about the new car, and then what's the best thing about the new car and the new track? I don't know how everybody else's cars are, but at least the old car, I felt like every time we went over, uh, you know, 3B or whatever it is at the top of the hill, I felt like it was trying to kill me every time. So this thing seems to be a lot better as far as the crest. Um, you know, I think the, the new car and the high-speed stuff is, it's really enjoyable. I mean, for me, I'm a tall guy, so I'd say at least my, my legs aren't cramped up in there anymore. But uh, these guys, they don't have a problem with that. So <laughs> I'd say the same thing. But... Uh, I think it's going to be, and the brakes are really good on the new car, but it's a challenge. You know, with the carbon brakes, sometimes it's, you know, it's a little bit easier to lock them up. So, you know, as far as passing, things like that, I could create some opportunities as the race goes on. But uh, the new car for me is certainly way better, way better here than the old car was. Maybe I just didn't, you know, drive the best of them, but mine was pretty good in years past, and I still feel like this is, this is a lot better. So, I've enjoyed it. Any other thoughts? 
Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd say the, this car definitely has more downfall. So high-speed corners are really fast, like Graham said. Um, I think the engine is, is nice as well with the turbos. Um, it's good power delivery. You can, you know, change your mapping as well to suit your driving style. And that's really good at a track like this where the tyres are going off so dramatically and uh, traction can be a problem. Um, it's nice having those adjustments. So, no, it's good. Excellent. Any other questions from the club? Standard of driving has definitely gone up in the series. Um, you know, all these double fire restarts. And the fact that the wheels are not exposed, so you can actually rub along some side, someone like a sedan, um, which creates good racing without someone getting knocked out, potentially. So I think that's why it's been such a good racing this year. And, um, you know, it's going to help here as well. It's a, just a, a better car to race. You know, the only criticism I have is a high long front nose, but you just got to get used to that. It's easy to knock a wing off, it's, they're kind of weak, but uh, you know, apart from that, it's, it's been really good. Done? Yeah, no, the okay. same here. So, no, I felt uh, uh, special with the double five restart, people getting used to, and uh, uh, but I also feel that the tracks, uh, the last three tracks, uh, they were pretty wide, and that also helped, you know, for people with uh, some issues they were able to run off and, and come back and I think probably this race is going to be the same as the last two no yellow flags the way that it's happening uh, uh, but who knows uh, it's always very unpredictable but uh, right now uh, adding, adding 10 more laps from last year uh, certainly uh, it might change the <laughs> I didn't do that for the record <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I would say I think the, like Will said I mean I think the quality of driving has just gone up in the series tremendously and um, you know I mean you look at uh, you, you look at mid-Ohio and I don't know worldwide if I've ever seen a field that is that competitive or that close I mean you're talking about over a couple mile track a lot of different elevations different engines different teams the whole thing and you got I mean if you missed it by a tenth and a half in qualifying like we did you know you start 22nd I and mean, that's how competitive it is and I mean, we weren't far off uh, off of the pole time, but you're that far back. You know, I mean, it's a, it is so competitive right now. You have to absolutely be on the top of your game, and uh, I think that's why the I think that's why the racing's been better. You know, guys are giving each other room. Um, you know, you're able to, you know, really the way the cars kind of gone off, but the, the tires have gone. Mid Ohio wasn't terrible, but there have been places where the tires have really gone off badly, and it makes the racing extremely exciting. At Barber, it was that way, and. Uh, that's the same tire we're using here, so I would expect the same thing. You know, I think the the racing is going to be the best that you've seen. So, um, you know, the new car has certainly, you know, been been really good at that. Well, I have a question for you. So you you kind of own this track. Now you can help improve it, make it faster. Can you open the door for someone else to take that podium position away from you? I think uh, yeah, I invested into it. I have more than fifty percent. So I change things for the better. So, oh well, you know, when you're when you're leading a race, you don't want to open up passing zones. But you know, for the good old series, I think you know it's got to happen because there've been some races here where it's been followed a leader. Um, you know, I, I think every year someone's been, you know. It's, it's there for the taking. It's uh, you know it's about putting a good weekend together, and that's happened for me the last two times. Um, you know, and now, like Graham said, I think just I remember you know in qualifying two at Mid Ohio, I think there was eight cars covered by one tenth to get through. Like can you imagine that? You knock off half a tenth and you move bloody four spots. So it's just it's insanely competitive. And this year more. More than the last two or three years, you've seen, you know, you've never seen anyone consistently on pole or consistently winning. Uh, no one dominates in this series. So it just proves how tough it is and tight it is. You look at, you know, so many finer details in your driving to, to be competitive now. Um, you know, I think that, that that should be known 
worldwide how competitive this series is. Um, you know, I don't think people realise it. You know, I would say that anyone in any other series in the world that come and race here, I can guarantee them that, that it would take them a good year to be competitive if they're a good driver. <coughs> There may be five more now, more. You're six gear now, heading up there. Um, yeah, so you, it's, with this car, you got extra downforce as well, so you know you can pretty much get up there flat um, on, on your tyres. Over uh, 160? I don't even know. The Chevy. The Chevy. The Chevy's definitely. <laughs> <pretty> <laughs> <laughs> Over 160. <laughs> Championship has been has been something that I've been uh, pursuing for a long time, and uh, again we're just uh, in, a, in a good opportunity. Three more races to go, and Dancing with the Stars. Well, uh, it's been five years that I uh, I haven't put my dancing shoes, and uh, <laughs> I will expect that our fans here will be voting because last uh, uh, five years ago I just got it because of you guys, you know, and. Uh, and this year, my uh, my partner is going to be Chelsea H Hightower, and uh, she uh, she's very nice, and uh, she seems to have great uh, nice. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a father now. <laughs> you guys should be respected. <laughs> um, so she's very nice. Uh, she seems to uh, have a great personality, uh, and uh, we we really uh, so so far we are we're connecting. So we're understanding each other, and uh, I already told her about my English that she might not understand some of the areas, but uh, she can help me out, you know. And uh, but in the end of the day, she is uh, she's going to be the boss uh, in that uh, territory because they are such incredible athletes, and uh, it is just amazing. So I'm super excited. Uh, to uh, to be on the show again, and like I said, you guys got a vote. I mean, seriously, yeah. without, without your vote, I won't be able to make it happen. So, thank you. Presidential campaigning isn't the only thing that's right. happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys very much. Good luck this afternoon. We'll see you next week. And uh, Drivers from Androni Auto Sport as well as Dragon Racing. Dragon Racing, so you're certainly welcome.